You want to say hi? <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Are you taking over the camera? <laughs> oh, now you're showing me your butt. There's his butt. <laughs> Maybe hear the dog moving upstairs. Um, today is, what day is it? It is Wednesday, the second. It is 11, 19 and I haven't really done anything, done anything today. I have eaten breakfast, taken my medicine, and today is going to be different than what I normally do because I have something that I need to do today. So I'm actually working with Book of the Month. You can probably maybe see Book of the Month right there, but this is a Book of the Month big box. They sent me all of their books for December. Here is the box. And um, they sent me five books. They con actually contacted me through my TikTok, so that's the main place that I'm going to be promoting them. Um, but I got all five books all five books and um these are all adult titles so i'm going to be promoting book of the month on tiktok so if you're not following me on my book tiktok please follow me i am going to be linking it down below and also be linking book of the month's tiktok down below because they recently started making tiktok videos i also have a coupon code for you to get your first box for only five dollars like five dollars like a good hardback book for five bucks like that's crazy go do it so i'm so excited about this i cannot wait to make this tiktok i have been researching for most of the day learning how to make a tiktok audio because i really want to use my own audio for this because i have a whole vision planned of what i want to do and so hopefully by the end of the day, I will have my TikTok posted and you can go check it out. I am really excited. I've never like worked with a big company before. Like this is really great. Ali wanted to join. He heard about all the bookish fun, right? Right, right. <laughs> oh, and here comes Willow too. You wanna say hello? Hi. Hello. You can't see her, but she's right there. <laughs> um, so I am going to be trying to make a TikTok for TikTok and um, talking about this amazing book service because I've actually used Book of the Month before and I have loved it. And I have one of my most anticipated reads of the year in this stack that I just got and I can't wait to read it. And I have it in beautiful hardback, like in a holiday space, Christina Lauren, like look hardback, beautiful book. You can go get this for $5. Romance readers out there who love Christina Lauren like me, you'll get this for $5. It's beautiful hardback book so i'm gonna get to making tiktoks or a tiktok <laughs> and i will talk to you later and update you about how it went because i think it's gonna be a very interesting process <laughs> okay you guys um sorry for the weird lighting it's a gloomy gloomy day it's been raining on and off all day um so i just finished filming the tiktok here's like a little clip of it i can't show it to you because the background music i don't think is copyright free on youtube um so i'm not gonna be putting the music on but here's a little clip of it right here um you can go check it out please please go give us some love um this is the first time i've ever done anything like this um so please please go check it out i filmed it i've done the audio for it now i have to close caption it and I have to put like little descriptions of every book because that's what I do on my TikToks. And so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. And I'm so excited and then I'm gonna post it and send it off to the person I've been contacting through Book of the Month. And so I'm so excited for this, you guys. Okay, so I just finished closed captioning everything. I just posted it. <gasps> I'm so excited. Hopefully they love it. Um, 
and yeah it takes a long time to close caption stuff where you talk a lot in it because I want my TikToks to be accessible to everyone obviously so I make sure to caption all my videos or the ones I have a few of them that I have not have I do not have closed captions on but that's because I didn't think about it before I posted those but ever since I realized that TikTok is not accessible to everybody who cannot hear I have made it a mission to always close caption my TikToks because I want everybody to be able to watch them I don't know what to do now <laughs> um I think I'm going to go work on a little craft I'm doing for uh, my secret Santa and listen to fire in his blood by Ruby Dixon so yes that's what we're gonna do we're I'm surrounded by puppies so we have one little here and then we have one there and then we have one in the chair and um that scares me every single time. I'm not used to this house. Every time the AC turns on, it gives me a jolt. I don't remember the sound and it sounds like, I don't know, somebody's here when nobody's here. So um, anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go do something. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so if you would have known a couple months ago, I made one of my reading vlogs about how um, we found a kitten in our front yard. And this is still him, we brought him to our new house. He is now an outdoor cat, he loves being inside. We're also just scared to have him be an outdoor cat right now because there are so many vultures outside in the country out here um, and hogs and we don't want him to get eaten. So um, he loves inside though, he loves exploring and everything. But this is Clifford, <laughs> say hi Clifford. <laughs> he doesn't like really to be held all that much. <laughs> But he loves pets, and um, <laughs> he loves little pets though. <laughs> you just wanna sit there? Okay, bye. <laughs> um, I know I haven't given y'all much of a pet update with him, so it's been like a couple weeks. When y'all last saw him, he was probably like this big, and now he's like this big. <laughs> so. Um, he is a crazy, crazy boy. Um, we also have found out that he loves um, to get up on the counters and eat human food. So we can't leave food out anymore, really. <laughs> right? Right, Mr. Clifford? Right? Say hello. He also loves to boop you. He does, Every time he sees you, he has to boop your finger. Ready? Boop. Boop. Boop your finger. You want to say hi? <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Are you taking over the camera? <laughs> oh, now you're showing me your butt. There's his butt. <laughs> oh no, we're not gonna eat mommy's plants. No, 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 no. Okay, I just finished rereading Fire in His Blood by Ruby Dixon. Um, I'm going to be giving it the same rating that I did the first time and it's gonna be a four star. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I just find it so unique and so much fun. Again, this is a dragon shifter romance. Now that I'm thinking about it, there's a dragon shifter in one of the Ice Home books by Ruby Dixon, like a spinoff to Ice Planet Barbarians. And I think he's the same species as these dragons, now that I think about it. Does, any, does everybody else know that? And I just didn't know that, I didn't figure it out. But like Ashtar from Ice Home, I think is the same species as these golden dragons, which, I didn't even think about. Which is kind of cool how she made two different books have a little bit of the same alien species in it, which is pretty cool to me. I like how she kind of like crosses over the series sometimes. But yeah, it was just really, really fun. The audiobook narrators are really fun to listen to. The only reason I can't give it like five stars is that whole thing at the end about Sasha just like left a bad taste in my mouth. If you know what it is, you know what it is, so. But Sasha's book, I believe, is the next one, if I remember correctly, which is it's Fire and His Kiss, possibly. It's this cover. I remember really liking this one too. Um, I forget everything that happens in it though. So I'm gonna download it, get to reading that one um, while I am continuing on with my craft that I'm doing. So I'm making an alpha bracelet. If you don't know what an alpha bracelet is, it's a bracelet that, um, I'm gonna cover up one part of it. And that has like letters on it that spell out something. Is it upside down? No. See, that's the start of something, but I, I'm covering it up because I don't want it to be a spoiler for somebody. And if you read the whole thing, it, someone's gonna know it's for somebody. <laughs> and so uh, I actually thought about possibly opening up an Etsy shop with these bracelets in them. Um, and you can use them as a bracelet, you can use them as a bookmark, you can use them for whatever you'd like. 
and they just have like fun sayings in them. Um, what I've been doing for my friends for their birthdays is making them one for their birthdays. You can even use it as like a keychain. I want to make, I haven't made one for myself yet, but I want to make one for myself and put it on my keys because I feel like it would be cool. If y'all would be interested in possibly buying one, let me know and I may or may not speed up um, getting inventory for um, an Etsy shop to start. So yeah, I know that this may not be a thing or something that a lot of people like, so just <laughs> If you don't like it, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, I'm gonna eat a snack and um, listen to my audiobook, finish my craft while it is raining outside. It is a rainy, rainy, gloomy day. So I can't really go hang out with the pets and read outside like I really want to because everything is wet, so. But you know what? We're gonna listen to a great audiobook and do some crafting. We're gonna do it. Hello, good evening, good night, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this is gonna be my last update for the day. It has been a while since I have talked to the camera and I've also been breaking out more. Um, this one just won't go away and it hurts a lot because it's on my glasses. Anyway, you don't want to hear about me talking about pimples. What has happened today? I made progress on my alpha bracelet. I'm going to be finishing it tonight before bed like I am making myself do it. I did not listen to any of the dragon book that I was going to. I ended up reading 30 5% of Beauty in Summer by, I think it's Ella Good. Um, this one is another one of those beauty books. It is a Beauty and the Beast you're telling. All these books are Beauty and the Beast you're telling. This one takes place in modern day, and I think they're all werewolves. Not her, but like the beast in here is a CEO of a company that like has werewolves in it or something. I don't know. I haven't really gotten that deep into it yet. It's only a novella and um, I'm 30% of the way through so not that far. The beginning of it was really weird and not my thing. The beginning starts out with like our heroine cutting off a best friend, that a crappy best friend, but like it wasn't, it like just wasn't a good scene to read because we don't have like any context to it really. We have some context, like the author gives us some context, but it doesn't give the same like emphasis as it would if like we experienced it like we um were like shown what happened instead of told what happened between the two of them and so yeah i don't really like that in books and when authors tell and not show she doesn't have a good relationship with her parents and i think her parents like end up selling her to this guy who is the beta to the alpha. The alpha is the beast or the main character in the story. He's having a hard time reigning in his wolf side and like his wolf is trying to come to the surface and so then like they like sell her to this company. I'm, I'm really confused. Hopefully it gets cleared up but like I don't feel like I should be this confused still 30% of the way through it even if it is a novella. I don't think I should still be this confused. I'm mainly just reading this so I can get to Ruby Dixon's book and then I can continue on with all Ruby Dixon's books because I need to do that. Tomorrow I think I am going to start a book <laughs> Um, that I'm doing for a separate video. I'm doing a um, booktube friends pick my TBR round two and there's only one book on my TBR that my friends have picked out for me that does not have an audiobook um, and there's also I only have two books left one of them does not have an audiobook for and the other one does but it is a very long wait for so I'm going to get the book that definitely does not have a audiobook for it done as soon as possible. Tomorrow I think is also going to be a cleaning day because um the apartment is very, very, very dirty. I have not been keeping up with cleaning it. And then I think Friday, so not tomorrow, but the next day, is the day I'm going to be borrowing my mom's car and going to my college town and doing a bunch of things. Um, because on my way here, like to my parents' new hometown, it's an hour away from my college town. And on my way from college town to here my car died on the side of the interstate i got it to restart and everything but my car is just having some issues i do not feel safe driving it on an interstate like at all no thank you ma'am we're not gonna do that uh so i've had to wait until my parents haven't needed their cars so friday is the earliest day for me and i think that's the day that i'm going to drop off all of my secret santa stuff i'm going to pack it all up in a box and get it sent off i need to go take a shower i'm going to take a shower 
finish my bracelet and watch some Star Wars while doing that because I haven't watched the newest ones, the three newest ones, which is crazy to me because Star Wars, the original Star Wars, are everything to me. And I just never went to the theaters to go watch the new ones. It just never happened for me. I'm watching them on my own time. So I'm gonna finish, I forget the freaking name of them. The first one out of the newest three. There you go. And I'm watching that one currently. So I'm gonna finish that while making my bracelet. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will talk to you tomorrow in my day three vlog. Bye y'all.